On a chilly Sunday evening on a pier at the Hudson River, New Yorkers gathered to remember Jorge Steven Lopez Mercado. This guy is 19. I'm 19. He was just 19 years old, murdered violently in Puerto Rico November 13th because he was gay. I have friends that are gay, and it breaks my heart that people are not accepted as who they are. I assume this is you? Do you think that coming here means something a little bit more to you now? Yes. How so? It's an awareness that people should be aware that this happens every day and there needs to be a stop to it. Community leaders at the partially bilingual vigil turned rally invoked the names of other recent victims and focused on action. Honor Jorge Steven, honor Jason, honor Jack Price who was almost beaten to death in College Point because of his sexual orientation. Honor Mario Vera who was beaten in Bushwick because he is a Latino who is still struggling to recover. Honor and remember them by calling and emailing the governor and attorney general Holder and saying as Americans this crime must be named and prosecuted as what it was, a ruthless and brutal hate crime. They also condemned statements from Puerto Rico's police investigator who said Mercado's lifestyle was to blame for his murder. This young man deserved this? Well, that's wrong. And we're not going to accept that. We're not going to accept that from the police. And we're not going to accept that from our legal system. New York was one of 20 cities to hold a vigil like this. It is quickly becoming a national issue, especially with the recently passed federal hate crimes law. No, solamente asunto de los boricua. This isn't just an issue for Puerto Ricans, but for all of us. The National Coalition of Anti-Violence Programs says there are over 2,400 anti-gay hate crimes per year in the U.S., 29 murders. That number is up 30% since 2007. Crimes against teens, much like this victim, have more than doubled since 2007. In New York, I'm Blake Hayes.